Hi everyone, in this video we'll be discussing how to create components within your project. So it's very common to you know, have a multiple part remodel job and to break things out into components to remain organized. This is a fantastic way if we have maybe a kitchen and a bathroom or a kitchen, a bathroom, and a living space that we're going to be remodeling to break it up for us to remain organized and to give our customers a organized view of the estimate broken out by component. So when you think of components, just think of organization typically done by uh, a room or a type of remodel. So as you can see here, I'm in my projects page and I'm working on an estimate for a kitchen and bath remodel. And I want to break this out into two different components. So what I'm going to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page here, down to my alternate and component list, and I'm going to begin adding components. So I'm going to click Add Component here, and it's going to take me over to a new page, which is the component, and the first thing I need to do is give it a description. So we'll start with the bathroom here. So we'll type in bathroom, and remember that it's going to auto-save for you, and we can begin adding things to our bathroom just by searching for them by clicking type here to search for parts and templates. So I'm going to search for a bathroom template. So I'm just going to type in bathroom. I'm going to come over here to templates. I'm going to grab our remodel uh, economy grade. It's just kind of a middle range here. Go ahead and click 60 square feet. Again, that's going to be the size of the bathroom. And we're going to add the template. And now I'm going to close out of my search. I can see everything about my component here. So I've got all of my different parts in here pulled from a template. And again, I can make any changes just by using this little blue edit button over here about a particular part. I can remove a part with the red X. And then I can add additional items or templates to this particular component right here. Uh, the same process that we just added the template for the bathroom. So let's go ahead and exit out of here. So we're going to come down to the bottom, we're going to click Save, and then we're going to close out. So this takes us back to square one, so back to our project where we can see everything in the estimate. And we're going to scroll back down to our components, and we're just going to double check on our bathroom. Looks good, we have a price here. Now if I wanted to get back into this particular component, I can click it and then I can click this little blue edit button and that will take me right back into the bathroom component. But let's do this again for our kitchen. So I'm just going to click add component and then we're going to call this guy kitchen and we're going to add in a kitchen template. So again I'm searching for a kitchen template coming over here to templates and we'll grab the economy grade 200 square foot size kitchen Add template, go ahead and close out, come back down to the bottom, save and close. And again, takes us back to our projects page where we're going to see all of our components combined. And we'll scroll back down to our components just to make sure that they're both here. Okay, great. So both look good here. So we've got our kitchen and our bathroom. And again, if we wanted to open up the component and kind of isolate it, so to speak, and look exactly at that particular component. Just go ahead and click, excuse me, click this little blue edit button here. And we can change the order of our components that they display just by moving them up and down like this. Now, when we scroll back up, we're looking at the overall view of our estimate here. And again, we can make any changes with our little blue edit button here. We can also add parts and templates to our overall project right here. And we can also add additional components right down here at the bottom by continuing to click Add Component. And again, think of components as an organizational feature, so a way for you to section off the estimate, make it more organized, and your customers will definitely enjoy seeing things broken out by component because it makes it more transparent, makes it easier for them to understand the scope of work pertaining to each aspect of the job. So definitely keep components in mind for your larger jobs and remember that they can be created at any time while working in your estimate just by coming down here and clicking add component. Thanks for watching.